Just blocks from the Capitol building, we welcome you to Nationals Park. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Washington Nationals. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. Gonzalez gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy keeps his team in the ball game. He's won two of his last three starts, so he's been throwing the ball really well. And one of the keys for this guy is getting early outs to keep his pitch count down. If he can do that, he should be able to get into the seventh or eighth inning in this one here today. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch coming, here it is. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. So, guys, these Nationals, as they enter play here tonight, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? Matty, this team's lineup is dead last in batting average. And I tell you what, that does not bode well for the rest of the season. If you do not have professional at bats up and down the lineup, or at least six to seven guys, it is eventually going to catch up to you. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Missed with a breaking ball. In head to head meetings with Gio Gonzalez, he's got three base hits in 16 tries. He also has one home run. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and a strike. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, He's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. The 1 1. Very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. One out, nobody on. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two grounded to short. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Batting third. Short run. Xander. Here's Xander Bogarts now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First offering on its way. Popped up. Turner is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. Chris Sale is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start. But he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that. But this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Stepping into the box, Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Maddie. I know they dropped the first three games of this road trip, but you got to find a way to shower it off. 
I always said that when I left the field after I took that shower after the game, it's got to it's got to go down the drain. That game has got to go away. They find themselves in a new series right now with a chance to redeem themselves. The one one home. One and two now. Uh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Striding in now for the Nats, Adam Eaton. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you never really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and two now to Adam Eaton. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Up with the ball is Pedroia. And there are two away now. Batting third, right fielder. Now to the plate, Bryce Harper having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Here's a strike. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty. Power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So nothing in the Washington half of the first. We're through an inning at Nationals Park, still scoreless. Here's J.D. Martinez. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. J.D. Martinez. First pitch on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. And that misses two and two. Hit hard up the middle. Oh, and Kendrick leaves his feet, but he can't reel it in. It's a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Into the box, Eduardo Nunez as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 0. The average coming in 257, four home runs and 17 RBIs. Shut 
2 and 0 to Eduardo Nunez. Nunez, a native of the Dominican Republic, manning the hot corner down at third in today's game, although he's primarily considered a second baseman. You know, this is an interesting one. I'd be interested in two things. A, is he still using the glove that he uses at second base? And B, does he have enough arm strength to go over to third base? Because until you go backhand on that left side of the infield and turn and burn and throw to first, you have no idea the difference in arm strength that it takes to man that position as opposed to second. The 2 1. Two balls and two strikes now. Martinez aboard here at first with nobody out. All right, and he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Jackie Bradley Jr. is on deck. Payoff pitch home. Popped him up. Adams trying to get there. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So here's how the Washington Nationals are positioned defensively. Let's spot shadow Bryce Harper and why wouldn't we? He's only one of the best players in the game. He puts it on the line every night in the field and at the plate. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Running. From the stretch. He's running. No score here as we play inning number two. This one skied out toward right. Harper has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Next up for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready. Here's the first offering. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Eaton is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Red Sox leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In now is Anthony Rendon. Set to lead off the home half of the second. Anthony. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Rendon, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was a first round pick back in 2011. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball, really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now. Popped him up. Nunez has room in foul territory makes the play one away. 
So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning right, themselves fun. defensively. Man. Hey, let me tell Man. you about outfielder J.D. Martinez. We already know he's one of the biggest bats in the game, the ability to go deep to all parts. But I don't think people realize how good a defender this guy is. The ability to go back on the ball and a strong arm to boot. Stepping in, Matt Adams, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Count even at one and one to the Nationals' first baseman. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. The 2 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here's Howie Kendrick. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. We'll check in with an average still south of 230. Two home runs, 18 driven in. The 1 0 home. This is fought off foul over to the right side. It's a ball and a strike. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Hit the other way out toward right field. Pedroia over to his left, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for Washington. We'll move to the third with no score. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Let's go, Nats. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's the first pitch chopped foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. Gonzalez gets the sign. 0 1 pitch on its way. And that one just missed outside. Nope. Just that's missed with a breaking ball. I got two on the count. And a fastball just a bit high. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he fouls this one off. Pitch on the way. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Finally, up to this point, the entire lineup had been swinging at anything close, and this guy decides to show a little more patience at the dish and is rewarded with the base on balls. That was a good at bat. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Chris Sale, and we'll likely see him square around a bunt.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a bunt attempt here, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. home he's taken strike one on, two and one now to Mookie now the two one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Oh, he's got that beautiful 12 to 6 curveball, doesn't he? It's part of what makes him as good as he is, and, and he has a lot of confidence in it. He'll even throw it behind the count at times. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. A ball and a strike. Ball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. The two one. Swing and a line drive to left. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, working the edges, painting the corners, but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. In now, Xander Bogarts. And she looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Pedroia stands at second with two gone. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. Hit on the ground out to short. Turner has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Red Sox get a run on the RBI double by Pedroia. Bottom of the third coming up. Now 1-0 Boston.
In now for Washington, Bob Brazell, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And the changeup is way low that time. Missed with a slider. The 2 1. Is fastball taken high for a ball? You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. The 3 1. Line toward right center. And there's the first hit of the game for the Nats. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball to the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound. And then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Whoa, Tough pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. A runner at first with no outs here. Three and oh now. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on three and oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. Three and no count here it comes and he will take ball four first and second now with nobody out. Huge innings have begun with much less I can tell you that first and second no out and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. So striding in Gio Gonzalez as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set and the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. There's one. On to first, the double play. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt the guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. But speedy Trey Turner digs in now as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The man on third with two down. Not close. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Now 2 and 0 oh with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. Adam Eaton would be next if they can keep this inning alive.
3 0 pitch. Is in there for strike one. The 3 and 1 pitch. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. In now is Adam Eaton. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Come on now, let's go. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And a whiff at a good slider that time. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Back-to-back -back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. The 2-1 is a slider that misses below the zone. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Steal, steal, steal. Three, one. In there. Now the throw. Okay. Not going to get him as he swipes second. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Payoff pitch home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Pedroia to his right. He has it. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the bag. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield. It is, D Roy. You can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he's back in standing. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. The 0 1. Yep. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. The 1-1 is low and outside for a ball. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Fouled away. Runners at the corners, two men out. Lifted in the air to center. Pedroia is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Ready for another chance, J.D. Martinez, as we begin the top of the fourth.
first offering on its way. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Gonzalez looks in, coming at him with the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center number 21 for him on the season and the Red Sox move in front it's two to one. Man you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way he thought he had it and he might tell you he should have had it but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches folks. The batter. Into the box now. Eduardo Nunez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper has a read on it. One out. Now batting. The center fielder. Jackie Bradley. Digging in to try it again. Jackie Bradley Jr. One run in and one gone so far this inning. All right, yeah. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a first pitch changeup that swung on and chopped foul right at home plate. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And a fastball not close. It's two and one now. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. When that one left the bat I wasn't sure where it was going to come down. I thought it might have a chance. Yeah same here Matty. It kind of got lost high in the sky before one hopped the fence for an extra base hit. During the daytime that thing probably would have carried out of here but you can't complain too much about a double. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Bradley leads off second with one gun in the inning. A one and one count now to Vasquez. One two in the dirt throw goes over to third and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third you have to be sure you can make it he was there and now he's only 90 feet away. Set. Here's the 2 2. Now a ball line softly down the left field line, but this will be a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time towards second. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. 
boy, D. Rowe, that's a case right there. He hit it just like he thought it. Saw it. Not hit all that hard, but it gets the runner in from third. Yeah, but you know what? Tomorrow's newspapers are going to be wrapping fish, so who cares? About? I don't care if it's a bullet or off the fists. A knock's a knock, especially when it's got an RBI attached to it. Into the box, Rafael Devers. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And it's fouled away. Devers is a corner infielder, normally a third baseman, but he's at the other corner at first base here in this one. Yeah, this guy's got sure hands. You know, sometimes I want, I want to make this point. First basemen get a bad rap because everyone thinks they could just go over there and handle a bag, pick balls in the dirt. Not the case. First basemen cannot be more important to helping out not only the pitching staff when they want to throw over, but also taking errors away from their infielders. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a good idea to hold off there as it goes to two and two now on the Boston third baseman. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Here now the 2 2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on 2-2. Two and two. He was heading to count 0-2 earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. In now, Chris Sale, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Ready. Here's the 1 0. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Red Sox three and the Nats one. Digging in for his second at bat, Anthony Rendon. That last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit ball to second. There to get it is Pedroia. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now batting. Matt Adams. Riding in once again, Matt Adams. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Slapped hard the opposite way. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Man, I so one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. Stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. The 0 and 1 delivery. Missed with a slider. Kendrick waiting now the pitch grounder down the line at third here comes the one two from sale he takes strike three called on the fastball couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away 
runner on first in a double play now situation. Back. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Stepping in now, Bob Brazell. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. away for ball two two and one now the two one pitch is taken for strike two oh that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back you're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. One left for Washington, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. So the Red Sox lineup turns over, and to the plate, Mookie Betts. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Gonzalez steps into his windup. First pitch on the way. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. The 1 0. Misses ball two. Two one home. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. So a ringing double here to kick off inning number five. And you can see on the graphic there he currently leads the Red Sox in that department. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Dustin Pedroia. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. The 1 1 home. Is a fastball that misses. Betts leads on second with nobody out. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. Now the three and two pitch and he misses there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. I know one thing he earned that free pass right there 
He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager. And a change is coming up as that's going to be all for Gio Gonzalez. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start that's for sure. Jeremy Hellickson enters the ball game to replace the starter and some may feel he was pulled a bit prematurely. Yeah and I'm sure the lefty wants to stay out there too. But this is one of those situations where the manager felt it was time to start playing the matchup game. With the right handed batter up next they're hoping this right handed pitcher gives them a better chance to get an out. Xander Bogarts will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. He's set. Here it comes. Fouled off. Come on, Here's the 0 1 pitch. There's a chopper foul over to the right side. 0 and 2 now. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number 5. to send him packing pitch on its way and he checked his swing but it's a strike three called and that's the first out of the inning you know I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored looking or swinging he tried to check his swing but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless Here's J.D. Martinez as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. In his career, Martinez carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Oh and one here it comes. And he fouls this one off. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. But he will haul this in on the run as he had to go back to the warning track to do it. And there are two away. And he'll take those extra 90 feet. So put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Ready for another shot now. Eduardo Nunez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch. No balls in one strike. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 0 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple as the lead remains three to one. Digging in, Matt Weeders leading off with a base on balls his first time up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Weeders awaits the 0 1. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. 
Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Michael Taylor will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Michael Taylor. Power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. He'll step in here at 275. Six home runs and 28 RBIs. The 0 and 1 delivery. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. One run on three hits and no errors so far for the Nationals. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. In there, two and two. Yeah. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Trey Turner digs in now. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They still trail it here three to one. Your attention please. Now pitching for Washington. Number 36. Here's Jackie Bradley now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Jackie Bradley Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Let's go, Nats. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And a sinking fastball that stayed a little high, apparently. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. The 2 0. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Well, ball three there, and you know the Sox would love to start an inning. Hey, a leadoff walk would be a great thing right now. The 3 0 pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitters aboard to start the sixth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Vasquez. One for two on his line so far in the game. There we go. Swing it. First pitch on its way. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. One ball, two strikes, I count.
And he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Now batting. Rafael Devers the next to bat. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the at bat. Takes a good curveball at the knees. I like that he used the curveball to get ahead there. That's a tough pitch to hit in this lefty lefty matchup. So if you can get it over the plate on the first pitch it can be pretty effective. Runner Bradley runs hot shot down the line but this will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen two now. Owen two here it comes and a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Chris Sale. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Behind 0 and 2 now. Let's go, DC. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One left for the Red Sox, and it's still 3 to 1. In now is Adam Eaton. He's one for two in the ball game. For the Center fielder, Adam Eaton. Here comes the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Good waste pitch one and two. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Here's Bryce Harper now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. offering on its way thought he had the inside corner that time but it missed for ball one you know he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going they need a rally so we'll see if he can spark one here swing line drive that's going to be trouble hard around first is Harper racing for second and he'll pull into second with one away Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Ready for another chance? Anthony Rendon. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch to him. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. 
I don't think he's going to triple up on change up right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Hard hit to first. Devers gloves it. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now batting. Here's Matt Adams now. Runner in scoring position with Sukhan. First delivery to him on the way. And he lays off there 1 0. Harper on third with two out. Fastball misses away here. It's 2 0. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. 2-0 count. Here it comes. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Matt Adams in front. Three balls and a strike to count now. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Bradley moving in. And that retires the side. Nationals leave one. Score holds. It's three to one. Back here at Nationals Park, Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Sean Kelly is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 27, Sean Kelly. Here's Mookie Betts. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Mookie Betts. Ready. Here's the first offering. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. Here's the 0 1. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Hey guys, that's just a nasty pitch right there. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders, and that's exactly what that was right there. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. And here's a slider that's nowhere close and it's one and oh. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like, a knock's a knock. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Bogarts hits a little over the 270 mark. 
We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Swing and a miss and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another. There's another slider that's back to back good sliders and this guy's breaking ball is really good and when he's throwing it well like he is and he's confident with it he can throw it three or four times in a row a really good slider in this one. really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch. J.D. Martinez will stride in again and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. Three runs seven hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Boy, this is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like this. 2-0 count. We'll see right here if he lays one in there to give him a pitch to swing at. Now the 2-0 home. Hit hard back up the middle. Turner loves it. They go the short way to Kendrick at second, and that'll be that. Red Sox leave one, but they hang on to a 3-1 to one lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Howie Kendrick will step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Owen won the count. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight changeup, El Cambio. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Into the box, Bob Brazell. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's one for two in this one. Three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. He loses him on ball four. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Ready for another shot now. Matt Wieters was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And we'll step off and fire to the bag. And he just manages to get his hand in. Get something going. He's going, he's going, he's going. First pitch. Runner goes. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And he'll dive back in. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it is Betts, and Mookie's got it for the second out. 
Wilmer Depot. Come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number one. Snap one over to first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. Nothing doing for Washington. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Joaquin Benoit will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Brian Goodwin will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number eight. Benoit is ready. First pitch on its way. Oh, and he goes the other way and he drives it out to deep right center field. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Around second now and headed for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. How about it? That was not the way this pitcher envisioned the beginning of the game. Going for him wasn't that bad of a pitch. He jumps all over it. Nobody can run it down, and he's standing at third feeling pretty good about himself. Here's Jackie Bradley now. It was a walk in his last trip. Come on, let's hold on. Come on, let's First pitch of the at bat. Try to check it, and it's 0 1. Nunez, the runner at third with no outs. And this one gets away. And not in time as the run scores. What a bad time for a wild pitch as the run will score from third. Man, he's out there trying to throw strikes and give his guys a chance to come back and maybe win this thing but that wild pitch and the insurance run it allows to score certainly aren't helping matters in the slightest. Swiss. And the fastball easy to lay off that time two and two. You know something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Now the payoff pitch home. A little bouncer, but it rolls foul, so we'll have another payoff pitch. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Really? Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's oh, what happens good. when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez. The fastball here is to take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one zero oh. misses for the second ball. Bases are empty, one man out. A 
It's a swinging bunt up the line. Rendon is up with it on the first, and there were two down. Now batting, the first baseman, Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. First pitch on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Harper. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Red Sox four, and the Nats one. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. First pitch coming, here it is. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Takes a knee-high fastball. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two-seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. The 1-1. Hard hit ball towards the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. So it's a leadoff knock to start out the inning as they'll try to claw back at that three-run deficit. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. we got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. Ready once again, Adam Eaton. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In the dirt here. And no advance, it's ball one. In there, one and one. the 1 1 swing and a ground ball to third throw on to second so they'll get the lead man and that's all right fielder number 34 Ryan digging Harper. in and looking for more Bryce Harper it was a two bagger for him in his last at bat First delivery to him on the way. Now a bouncing ball hit to Pedroia at second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Washington. They trail it four to one. Back now with baseball on the show from the nation's capital. Just down the street from that building, we are set for what remains in this one. Andrew Benintendi will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit, leading things off here. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 
He comes in with that average down in the 240s. 11 home runs and 48 driven in. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Slider up that he gets a call on. Another 0 2. Popped up. Kendrick trying to get there. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, D. Rowe, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. The 1 0 is a fastball looked at for a strike. Benintendi gets his lead at first, nobody out. Hey, Red Sox, get out of here. Zero. Chased a sinker outside the strike zone, one and two. Again, a one two got him and he goes down on strikes for the third time that's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice but at least his guys are ahead Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. So far, two for three in this one. Comes set and the 0 1. Here's a swing now by Pedroia as he sends this one in the air to deep left field. Gone! Two run dinger by Dustin Pedroia number 11 for him on the season and it's now a six to one ball game. Well he missed the fastball earlier so the pitcher thought he can't catch up to my heater. Well he not only caught up to it he chased it down and tattooed it out of here. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Here's the pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0 1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. And yeah, that one stayed up a little high. This ball's hit deep to left field. 
That one's out of here. Back to back home runs. It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. Home run number five on the year as it's now a six run ball game. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back-to-back -back homers. But there is a need for a short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. Now batting, left fielder, J.D. Here's J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hit hard but fouled to the left, and they'll try it again. Three runs already home here. That misses one and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. One two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. Well this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him but he's still out there and it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done though. Started to go did he hold up in time. Yes says the first base umpire it's ball three now. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk of fair ball. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot. And he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. In now, Eduardo Nunez, as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Come on, let's hold him. Pulled softly out toward right, and that's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Into the box now, Jackie Bradley Jr. One ball, no strikes to count. The one and no delivery. Aye. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. <laughs> 
sliders. Strike three called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He was a ground out victim last time up. Not close, it's 2 and 0. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations and good hitters aren't going to miss. And that misses as well. Three and oh. Runners on first and third two away. And oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called a strike. Three and one now. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove it one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Now a throw over, back in standing. Let's go, Nat. The three one. Here's a high pop up. Rendon is calling for it. And that ends the inning. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. The Red Sox lead it seven to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Matt Barnes will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Blake Swihart is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. In now is Anthony Rendon due up for the four five and six hitters and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. They have only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball that time, not even close. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Now the one and one pitch fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. He was great all night long. Matt Adam. Here's Matt Adams now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. Come on, Nat. Nat. 
and oh, one and one as this one's in on the hands. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box. No doubt about it. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Betts. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's Howie Kendrick. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's one for three. He's set and the pitch. Change up in for a strike. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. Up around the face. Two out, nobody on. Come on down, Nets. One ball and two strikes to count. Last strike now for the Nats. Rip down the first base line. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96 mile an hour fastball, and he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tough right there. You have to honor when a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour. You have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off speed. Daniel Murphy will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Oh, here's a shot out to right center. Kendrick rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. And it's a 7-2 game now. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0 is fastball down below the knees. Well he's got a base open to use right here and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Murphy at second with two down. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. Boston took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Chris Sale earned his ninth win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Gio Gonzalez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And 